Hola, soy Cintia Hernández, Secretaria de Ciencia y Tecnología del Instituto Universitario para el Desarrollo Productivo y Tecnológico Empresarial de la Argentina y junto a Darío Condner de la Universidad Nacional de Quilmes hemos presentado el trabajo titulado Mapeo de Instrumentos de Promoción de la Transferencia de Tecnología y Desarrollo de Negocios Tecnológicos. En este trabajo hemos analizado diferentes instrumentos que se aplican en Argentina para la promoción de la innovación tecnológica, el desarrollo de nuevos negocios basados en el conocimiento y la transferencia tecnológica. Para analizar ecosistémicamente estos instrumentos, hemos utilizado una matriz de análisis conceptual que se constituye mediante la coordinación de dos ejes. Uno que indica diferentes niveles de madurez tecnológica y otro que, es, que está basado en los TRL de la NASA y el segundo eje que coordina el desarrollo del mercado y el acercamiento de los clientes que está basado en la propuesta que realiza Steve Blank. Al analizar los 25 instrumentos de promoción de la ciencia, la tecnología y la innovación para el desarrollo de negocios tecnológicos, dentro de la matriz queda visiblemente dispuesto eh, la cobertura de los diferentes niveles de un proceso de innovación. En tal caso, se observa que hay algunos niveles que tienen una sobrecobertura de instrumentos de financiación y existen oportunidades en algunos niveles, particularmente los de mayor madurez tecnológica o los de mayor acercamiento al mercado, en donde hay poca cobertura de instrumentos, con lo cual hay oportunidades eh, para atender esos diferentes estadios en los procesos de innovación. En tal sentido, eh, podemos concluir que la matriz facilita eh, la identificación de oportunidades y la mejora de rediseños de instrumentos, así como eh, el análisis ecosistémico en la totalidad de instrumentos para tratar de eh, aprovechar las diferentes oportunidades y redistribuir eh, adecuadamente los diferentes instrumentos evitando sobresolapamientos. Además, eh, contar con una herramienta que brinda diferentes niveles de madurez de un proceso de innovación eh, nos permite segmentar las herramientas y direccionar los, los esfuerzos para promover la innovación en diferentes estadios acorde a los resultados esperados. This is Alexander Dill talking. Do you think that there is real evidence that military expenditures have no alternative? This is the opinion of the members of the United Nations Security Council and of many states. My paper that I offer to you is called Shift of Scientists and scientists to the SDGs shift. That means, can we scientists present, develop, explore, offer alternatives to spending 3 trillion euros or dollars per year on military? Can we do that? My answer is yes, we can. But of course, organizations, states, and even colleagues that spend their life with research on military. In some countries, 50% of the national budget for research and development can we convince those colleagues. So have a look at my papers and join those who want to take research on alternatives to spend 3 trillion euros on military against the SDGs and against goal 16, which is peace.
Tech stewardship as a foundation for multi-stakeholder collaboration to enable STI for SDGs. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development emphasises the importance of science, technology and innovation to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. To harness the full potential of STI, we need multi-stakeholder collaboration that achieves broader inclusivity by taking cultural values into consideration. Current approaches to tech governance may risk promoting inequity, as they typically involve simply making Western technologies, pedagogies and values available to the Global South. The UN Technology Facilitation Mechanism should focus not just on how to spread technology, but also on how technologies are developed by supporting multi-stakeholder collaboration centred on the kinds of inclusive values espoused by tech stewardship. The lack of funding for technology facilitation mechanism activities is a significant constraint to collaborations. While substantial investments are made in developing technologies like AI, investments in our capacity to steward technology remains insufficient. Tech stewardship, developed by the Engineering Change Lab Canada, provides a mindset and approach to address this need, breaking down professional silos and expanding the participation of underrepresented communities in the pursuit of purposeful, sustainable, diverse and responsible technology ecosystems. Tech stewardship envisions a cultural shift towards technology that benefits everyone by increasing opportunities for individuals to practice the core commitments of tech stewardship and promote them within their organisations and communities. Tech stewardship is based on three core commitments. Advance understanding. We continuously deepen our understanding of our relationship with technology, challenging dangerously limited narratives and stereotypes. Deliberating values. We seek to understand how our values are shaping and being shaped by the technologies we build and scale. Practice behaviours. We support each other to practice the daily behaviours that enable progress in all its forms, from incremental steps all the way to breakthroughs. With a focus on these three core commitments, tech stewardship addresses the tensions between technological development and its stewardship. Through this process, known as polarity mapping, tech stewardship fosters critical dialogue between can we do it and should we do it mindsets. By addressing both and opportunities within value tensions, tech stewardship aims to ensure that technology is beneficial for all. There are several ways that the UN STI Forum can leverage tech stewardship. The recommendations outlined in our science brief include 1. Incorporate tech stewardship into the guidance for the preparation of STI for SDGs roadmaps. 2. Recommend tech stewardship programming to academic, governmental, industry and non-profit partners to enhance their contributions to the SDGs. 3. Convene conversations with key partners about leveraging tech stewardship shared infrastructure to unlock individual, organisational and community contributions to STI for SDGs. Help grow the tech stewardship community. Read the UN Science Policy Brief. Follow the Tech Stewardship LinkedIn page and contact us at programs at techstewardship.com. My name is Zhang Dang Tu from Institute of Science, Technology and Innovation, Ministry of Science and Technology, Vietnam. I would like to express my sincere thanks to AITT team for giving me an opportunity to share the main result of my policy brief, namely linking science and technology tasks from the state budget with implementation of sustainable development goals in Vietnam, efforts and suggestions. There are three main points I would like to share with you. The first point is the current situation of linking science and technology tasks from the state budget with the implementation of sustainable development goals in Vietnam. The second point is some limitations and reasons. And the last one is a recommendation to better link science technology tasks from the state budget with implementation of sustainable development goals in Vietnam. On May the 10, 
17. The Prime Minister of Vietnam issued decision number 622 on the promulgation of the National Action Plan to implement the 2030 Agenda for the Sustainable Development in which mobilizing own social resources, strengthening coordination among ministries, sectors, locality, agency, organization, union, businesses and stakeholders to ensure the successful implementation of the SDG by 2030. Funding for SDG must be integrated in the funding for the implementation of the five-year and annual social economic development plans in national budget programs, other related programs and projects. Implementing the plan, linking national science technology programs with the implementation of SDGs have been specified in policy documents in which major orientation on sustainable development must be regarded as one of the basis for building national SNT programs. By reviewing 37 national science technology programs implemented in the period 2016-2020, the level of cohesion through the alignment of the goals and output of national SNT programs with SDG as follows. The first one is linking with SDG in identification and formation of national science technology program. National science technology programs are built based on the national social economic development strategies and policies of ministry and sectors, including documents with great orientation on sustainable development. The second one is linked with SDG in terms of the program goals and outputs. Among 37 review programs, there are 26 programs having goals and output linked to the implementation of SDG through providing arguments and scientific basis for the implementation of SDG and proposing specific model technical solution and technical for SDG. The level of linking divided into three groups. The first group is the programs only provide database and scientific arguments for the implementation of the SDG. There are five programs. The second one is the program proposed specific model, technical solutions, and technologies for the, to serve the SDG eight programs. And the third group is the program to provide arguments in scientific basis for the implementation of SDG and propose specific model, technological solutions, and technologies to serve the SDG. There are 13 programs. However, there is an unequal distribution of the goals and output of science technology programs for the implementation of SDGs. There are programs aiming at implementation six SDG, where meanwhile there are also programs aiming at implementing only one SDG. In the context that 10 SDG will still face difficulty and challenges to achieve and two goals very difficult to achieve by 2030, this unequal distribution implies a waste of financial resources. The two reasons might be explained here are the absence of direct and specific regulation on the linking of SDG in the formation, review, and evaluation of national science technology programs and lack of full presence of stakeholders in advisory board determining a science and technology program. In the context of Vietnam, some specific proposals are as follows to link science technology program from the state budget with the implementation of the SDGs. The first one is requirement for integration SDGs into science and technology programs. The requirements to integrate SDG into science technology programs should be specified in official guidance documents on science technology program planning to ensure the SDG are mandatory basis in the identification and selection of science and technology programs. The integration of SDG and SNT tasks must can be carried out sequentially from the stage of defining tasks to the stage of building tasks. 
The second proposal is the implementation of national science technology program with implementation of the SEG in the pre previous period must be evaluated to provide a better review of the development situation of each industry field and locality, providing important basis for the integration of SDG into science technology program in the next period. And the last one is to develop a new science and technology roadmap to implement the SDG to create a basis for focusing investment resources for science technology to implement the SDGs. The SNT roadmap for SDGs can be an independent document or part of other planning and implementation documents such as the National Development Plan or the Science Technology Plan and has to be a key element. It is important that the roadmap takes a systematic approach on how to use science technology to accelerate the achievement of goals and coordinate implementation. Indeed, it would be helpful to maximize coordination between existing sections with other planning materials to avoid duplication and re reduce waste. Thank you very much for your attention. Dear community of the Science, Technology and Innovation Forum, my name is Lorena Lamas and it is an honor for me to contribute with my policy brief to the reflections around this topic. Innovation and technology have the potential to change the world to be a better place. Yet, the universalization of inclusive and equal access to technology, digital literacy, online safety, and cybersecurity skills is essential. 2030 Agenda highlights that gender equality is not only a fundamental human right, but a necessary foundation to achieve sustainable development goals. Although there's agreement among sustainability actors that science, technology, and innovation can contribute to achieve the SDGs, most of these policies lack a gender perspective. This policy brief proposes policymakers, academia, and private sector stakeholders to take into account three main topics to introduce gender lens through the field of science, technology, and innovation. The first refers to increase the participation of women and other marginalized groups into STEAM areas. To do so, it is necessary to ensure greater access of women to education, technology infrastructure, digital skills, capital, and market opportunities together with strategies for women access to leadership positions and to be recognized as role models. It is also critical to ensure safe virtual spaces for women and girls to develop the necessary digital skills to pursue careers in STEAM fields. The second aspect refers to the use of science, technology, and innovation to intentionally solve problems faced by women and other marginalized groups. Training programs, job opportunities, and digital tools for women, while important, are not enough. It is also relevant to emphasize the need to shape the structures in order to make a paradigm shift in favor of gender and social justice. This means that the deployment of data, digital technologies, and AI needs to encounter people's diversity and protect the fundamental rights of all women in all societies. The third aspect refers to the development of financial opportunities for innovative businesses led by women at both private and public level. Sustainable finance has a key role to play in world transition. ESG standards and gender lens investments needs to be at the center of cash flow and money allocation decisions to financially support companies and projects that measure and report positive impact. Finally, to increase diversity into science, technology, and innovation field is not only a matter of equality. It is an economic imperative and will result in more creative solutions and greater potential 
to solve the biggest challenges of our humanity and to advance the SDGs. I thank all of you for your attention. I'm going to present very briefly the main results of the Strings project, which is a project in which we have been analyzing the alignment or misalignment between science, technology and innovations and the sustainable development goals. In order to explore this very complex question, we use three different levels of analysis. At the first level, we analyze publications from the Web of Science, patents from Patstat, in order to map what are the priorities across the globe of science technology innovation and how they are related to the sustainable development goals. Second, uh, we run a global survey with different stakeholders which tell us what they think are the main priorities in order to achieve this development goals in 2030. Third, we do contextualized case studies in order to appraise different pathways to address very specific challenges in those contexts. So the first main finding is that we do observe a substantial misalignment between priorities in science technology innovations in private and public R&D companies, particularly in higher income countries, and the sustainable development goals. Meaning that in those countries, most of the research is not related to the sustainable development goals. However, in low income countries, it is. But low income countries participate to mostly 0.2% of the global research, so the global research is not aligned to the SDGs. Second main finding is that research is done in silos with respect to the SDGs, meaning that research which focuses on one specific SDG is not uh, connected enough to research which reflects on other, which, which focuses on other SDGs. And this is particularly when we look at the distinction between research which look at technical issues and more societal deep-seated issues such as inequality, poverty, gender imbalances, and conflict. Third main result is that the current priorities in STI do not align with the stakeholders' priorities of STIs in order to address the SDGs by 2030, which do recommend to focus much more on policy innovation, social innovation, and grassroots innovation. Fourth, there is a clear misalignment between the specialization of research in different countries and what is the priorities in terms of SDGs in different countries. So for example, countries that pollute most and have many issues in relation to SDG 12, 13 and 14, such as higher income countries, do not specialize in research on the environment. Fifth, and particularly problematic, there seems to be in every local context to address a specific challenge, one particular science technology innovation pathway which dominates every other pathway. And this is the case even when local actors indicate that alternative pathways may better address the particular SDG challenge. Four areas of recommendation. First area of recommendation, uh, we do need national and global funders to focus more on research which is related to the SDGs. This needs a better and more inclusion of researchers in low-income countries where the research is much more aligned with the SDGs. Second, we need to aim for a much more diversity of direction of STI in specific local context and the much more democratic decision making about which directions are taking in those contexts in order to address the SDGs in a way which address the issues of all stakeholders. Third, we need accountable governance initiatives to better monitor and make decisions about which science and technology innovations are prioritized at national, local and global level in relation to the SDGs. Fourth, we need to empower different stakeholders to understand what are the priorities in science, technology and innovation, the way in which, for example, they're mapped in this exercise, and make decisions about which should be the investment in science, technology innovation moving forward. For inviting us. And uh, here is the statement for uh, Women's Health and Education Center open science and space technologies in the implementation of UN's 2030 Agenda, a vision for the development. Today, technological change is driven largely by private companies, making it harder for social scientists, policymakers, governments, and the legislators to keep up. Open science is essential to transform health and education systems in developed and developing countries alike. This will help us to achieve the United Nations 2030 Agenda by promoting science, technology and innovation that is accessible, inclusive, 
and transparent, open science often furthers the rights of everyone to share in scientific advancements and its benefits. Open science helps scientists to develop tools and methods for managing data so that as much as possible can be shared as appropriate. Let us set global standards for open science for all. The Women's Health and Education Center, its acronym is WHEC initiatives, recommendations, written statements, and side events provide a national and international framework for open science policy and practice that recognizes disciplinary and regional differences in open science perspective. Achievements of Sustainable Developmental Goals, SDGs, is a marathon, not a race. But when we are hitting a wall, these game-changing innovations can help us power through with unprecedented speed and scale. In the end, here is the vision for future discussion and the development. How can we utilize space technology in the implementation of UN's 2030 agenda. As outer space is becoming more congested and contested while offering growing pool of benefits to humanity, utilizing space contributes positively to a range of policy areas, including climate and weather monitoring, access to healthcare and education, water management, efficiency in transportation and agriculture, peacekeeping, security, and humanitarian uh, assistance. The list of Earth impacting space contributions is nearly endless, and many other valuable contributions are currently in the development for and are being researched. Here is a summary of our efforts in building back better. Our activities and new initiatives uh, aim to employ a cross-cutting approaches contributing to the use of space science and technology as a valuable tool to help implement UN's 2030 agenda. Space is for everyone. We believe since space has far-reaching uh, applications, all countries should be supported in accessing the benefits of space-based technology that fascinates and facilitates sustainable developmental goals. Thank you very much.